And with Blender 3.5 just recently announced, there are tons of Blender add-ons that will probably miss due to the hype of cool things that were happening with the brand new release of Blender. And today we're going to catch up on some of the very cool interesting add-ons and tools that might be very helpful and instrumental in your next project. And with that said, let's get right into it. Go panel from the folks at Blastframe is a new add-on that offers users the freedom to switch from one Blender mode to another easily irrespective of the task, offering them the same tools and functionalities without the hassle of memorizing the keyboard shortcuts or flipping through modes. For example, instead of switching from edit mode to sculpting, you can work naturally by selecting the corresponding icon on the task you'd like to work on and allow Go panel handle the rest. This add-on is great and works both for animation, modeling, grease pencil, texturing and so on. So, for those who like to work seamlessly in Blender without the enormous emphasis on shortcuts which is quite challenging for new users and 3D app migrators or flipping through modes, then the Go panel from the folks at Blastframe might just be the add-on for you. And with the brand new announcement of VDM brushes in Blender, it is quite impressive to see that tons of brushes are now coming to Blender that will be super useful and helpful for Blender artists to create faster. And NS Design is one of the creators that are championing this with lots of VDM brushes that can get you started. So if you're into hair, there are hair brushes for both male and female that you can pick up and play with on their storefront. And if you're into beards, you'll be able to play with a beard tool that is now available right here. At the same time, if you're into dragons or maybe characters that requires VDM or alphas, you'd also be able to find these as these are very high quality ones that you can use. So, for those who are thinking about grabbing these or probably you're into sculpting and you're looking for VDM brushes that you can work with, that can allow you to create faster and get your work out there in no time, then you might want to come through and check out NS Design for all of the cool things that they have to offer. And if you're into rigging and you like to use the very same tools that the folks at Blender Foundation are using to rig stuff, then you might want to consider taking a look at Blend Rig. Blend Rig is currently available on Blender Market and you can get this totally for free as Blend 6 offers features such as mesh deformation, pre-weight, advanced facial rigs, automatic generation of key shapes and drivers, a seamless editing of rig actions to define predefined poses and behaviors, and the use of scope tool to seamlessly edit shape keys. And with future plans for mocap tools, rig modularity, rig type preset, game engine compatibility workflow, and lots of other things coming, this might just be the one rig for humanoid characters that you might want to explore. So for those who are looking for a free add-on that they can use, or probably you're looking for the same rig tool that the folks at Blender Foundation are using to create their amazing shots, then you might want to come through and explore Blend Rig. And if you're thinking about creating hair or working with a layer-based set of tools that you can use to create hair in Blender with the brand new geometry node tools, then you might want to explore hair bricks. Hair bricks from Louis Art is a layer-based grooming system powered by Blender's geometry node, and this simply allows you to layer different types of hair and create the kind of hairstyle that you want. With layers, it's super easy for you to control, sculpt, and also manage the hair that you're creating, and this is where this add-on actually shines more. With lots of features that includes saving the presets, editing with modifiers, and image-based masking, and you can also proceed to create stylistic hair and style them to your heart content. So, if you're in the market for a hair tool, then you might want to explore the hair bricks from Louis Art. The folks at Stripe Digital, creators of the Alpha Trees 2.0, have just announced a brand new add-on that allows you to download tons of free 3D assets. This is called Asset Bridge. Asset Bridge is currently doing a 30% off for those who like to get this, and this is running from now till April the 25th. With Asset Bridge, you'll be able to download over 2,800 free assets, and these assets have been pulled from Polyheaven and Ambient CG. With more websites to be added in the future, you can now work directly from your asset browser and take advantage of the huge library of material and asset that this has to offer. So, for those who are looking for assets, or probably you're looking for a compendium of assets with a huge potential of growth, then you might want to consider taking a look at this and grabbing it for yourself. And one of the things that we've all tried to create at certain times in Blender is water. And this is where the Real Water 1.1 from Cassie comes in handy. Cassie has just created an ultra realistic water effect shader, which you can now use on your project. This comes with four presets for the blue tear effect, and there's a brand new wave shader that you can now use when working with this. And of course, if you purchase the first version, which is version 1.0, you'll probably notice that that was only available for cycles. But 1.1 is coming with some interesting update as it simply allows you to adjust the shaders without opening the node editor. Another interesting update that comes with 1.1 is for Eevee. At this point, if you're working with Eevee, there is now an added version for Eevee users 
that can allow you to tweak it to your heart content. For those who also like to work underwater, there is now a new shader that has been added specifically for underwater scenes as you can now get underwater bubbles as this works hand in hand with geometry nodes. So if you're looking for a water shader that you can use for your next project, then the real water shader from Cassie is worth giving a try. Sometimes when working in Blender, all you want is something that can optimize your scenes and make you work faster without losing quality. And this is where Besser Art comes in handy. Besser Art is a creator of fog planes, fluffy cloud planes, and a whole lot of other assets that you can find on their storefront. The fluffy cloud planes allows you to control tons of realistic clouds without sacrificing memory or computation. The whole idea of this is to allow you work easily and get the quality that you want, as this simply allows you to throw in a couple of planes which you can simply animate and this comes with a ton of cloud assets that you can work with. And as much as this would not replace VDB clouds like we've seen in the past, the idea behind this is to optimize your scene and get the best performance when working on your projects. We all know that Geometry Nodes is changing how we create things in Blender and Washington Fijo is doing a lot of things with Geometry Nodes. These are very useful and functional tools that he has been creating and for anyone who's thinking about grabbing any of these, you might want to consider taking a look at what he has done before. The Easy Traffic Generator, the Easy Fence Creator, the Rock Generator, the Grass and also the Road Generator. One which is pretty cool that he has done is the Easy House Cutter. Now with the Easy House Scatter, this geometry node system allows you to scatter houses along the faces of a model. This system contains 10 houses of American style and you might want to consider tweaking these to your liking. Of course we've talked about other tools that you can use to create houses before but if you're looking for something that easily scatters across and also gives you some elements to compose your environment and play with a few other assets that this comes with then you might want to consider taking a look at this. It's also worth mentioning that the Easy House Scatter system allows you to remove and show composition elements like bushes, trees, fences and so on. All together or individually, you can now play with this and get the most out of it. So if you're looking for Blender geometry scattering tools or generators, then Washington Fijo has a few things that you might want to consider taking a look at. The folks at Polygonic recently released an update for Traffic. Traffic is their car library asset pack of rigged cars, street elements and also traffic signs. And with the release of version 1.7, they've added 14 new cars, a brand new paint material with more flexibility regarding coating, metallic flakes, and more. There's an improved UI for wear and dead sliders, fixed UV maps, and a whole lot more. So if you're into cars and you would like to get the most out of it, and probably you want to get rigged cars which you can easily animate and get some very interesting effects with, then you might want to consider taking a look at Traffic, which is Polygonic's car library set of assets. Right now, they are doing a 20% off for those who like to grab this from now till the 30th of April 2023. So if you're into this, links to this alongside the coupon code is going to be in the description. And with the new implementation of Blender's real-time compositor, Edwin Webby has just created the Quick Post FX add-on that allows users to quickly and easily color grade a render or their viewport result by simply using cycles. It's quite interesting to see what you can get with this as this comes with 14 presets that you can simply tweak. If you like to go behind the scenes and play with the node, yes you can as this is fully integrated with Blender's node-based compositor and you can start tweaking this and getting some very interesting results. Currently, this is only supported for Blender 3.5 as it is the only version of Blender that currently ships with, with the real-time viewport compositor and for those who are looking for filmic color grading composition preset and you like to color grade your scenes faster and get the most out of it, then Edding Webby has something for you. And if you're looking to get started with geometry nodes, of course there are tons of videos that you can follow up on YouTube which can get you up to speed. But for those who are looking for a book that they can work with and learn, then Sejimata has put together a very comprehensive book that can get you started. There is a free version of this book which you can download and start playing with and for those who like to get the most of it, there is also the full one which is currently available right here. This is definitely going to be very useful as it goes step by step explaining all of the necessary things that you need to know when getting started with Geometry Node. And if you've always wanted to create fire in Blender, then Carfire from Pictofilmo is a very cool add-on that you can use. Carfire is an add-on that easily allows you to generate explosions and fire effects super easy in Blender as it comes with a couple of parameters and also tools that can get you up to speed. You can simply create emission keyframes, add smokes domain, fluid, and you can proceed to clone these and get some very interesting effect at the end of the day. At the same time, Pictofilmo has also created a couple of other cool stuff. So you can see from the text tool which is super cool, there's also the Blender reference tool 
and for destruction, you might want to take a look at the carbon which is also available on their storefront. The watercolor renderer from Pixel X Studio is a watercolor real-time rendering add-on that allows artists to direct how watercolor styles should be applied on their model. The watercolor style itself comes in two types which is the global config and the local vertex painting. With the global config allowing artists to set up how the whole scene should look like by configuring the canvas type, canvas roughness, pigment, density and so on. While the local vertex painting allows artists to simulate watercolor by using five different types of vertex painting that has been made available. And while the global configuration affects the entire scene, local vertex painting may only affect specific parts of the mesh. So for those who are thinking about doing some watercolor rendering, then you might want to come through and check this out for yourself. All type have created a couple of add-ons, presets and assets that we've talked about previously, and it's quite interesting to see that the all tab easy fog is now here. This currently has a launch offer of 50% off which is running from now till the 30th of April 2023. The Altab Easy Fog comes with a wide range of presets that you can work with and currently they have about 35 of those. This works automatically to create that beautiful realistic fog and lighting effect that you want in seconds. And of course if you'd like to take a look at this, there is actually a free version that you can download and play with as this comes with 3 presets that would definitely get you up to speed, but one thing to keep in mind is with the free version, there is no future update. And for those who like to grab this right now, there is a 50% off, which is definitely a steal. So this is it. For those who like to take a look at all of this and probably you like to get all of the tools that are currently available and more that we're going to put in the description, then links to this and much more would be in the description so do well to check it out. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.